And I'll change that. Hey right. guys, it's Shy and Nine Tails, and we're witnessing the round two uh, doubles match between the uh, Super Food and Brothers, who we just saw win over Hawaiian Punch, and they're going to be going against the Cosmic Kings, who are seated into round two. Yep. Um, so it looks like Super Food and Brothers are sticking with um, their Mewtwo Game and Watch team that they've been uh, using lately. All right. Yeah, and the obvious sheep Diddy with uh, AJ and them. Yep, that's their pretty standard uh, team they use to begin with. Yeah, especially when Diddy was overpowered, it was ridiculous to deal with. Because Sheik and Diddy were probably the best two characters in the game at the time. Yep. Still in the top though, right now. I don't know how I feel about them going near to in Game & Watch here, because this is the two lightest characters against some of the really huge top tier characters. Going light against Sheik isn't the biggest deal ever, since Sheik really likes kill power. And so does Diddy now. Um, Besides yeah. that new that custom, he button. likes raw. He likes raw kill power. Yeah. He had good kill power, just raw like killing. Wow. wow. So Mewtwo just warped directly into the Game and Watch dash attack. I don't think that was an intended effect by either of the um, Food and Argos. That was a very good teleport though by Chiro right there. Oh, the upbeat. Yeah. Oh, oh and he popped the shield. Oh, he jabbed him. Oh, but he still took advantage of it. He got. Yeah. He picked up a forward smash. <laughs> but yeah, that was a. Uh, that was a shield break that was hard to see. It even occurred. It looks like he just properly shielded that upbeat or something. You know. Yeah, and it popped his shield. Yep. That's a stock. Yeah. YouTube killing up really well with up smash or up air. Up throw. Up throw. God dang it. I can talk. Yeah, you got the direction correct, so... Yeah, I can talk. That's all I need to know. Oh, jeez, that bouncing fish was really nice. But Mewtwo has, the like, some of the best recovery potential of anyone in the She's game. still with one stock, though, so AJ and them leading right now because of that. Three stocks. Has a lost stock. That's what I meant. On his first stock. Did I say two? <laughs> don't worry about it. I, I don't know. Anyways, I'm about to comment today. I apologize. Um, so Diddy's controlling the edge there with that banana, keeping them in place. And, uh... It's dash attack again. Yep. I don't know. I don't feel like this is really good for Game & Watch and Mewtwo, because... I mean, Diddy does... I mean, this... They're both really... Oh, what? that was a really cool yeah. trade. I don't and even Mewtwo know. actually managed to live. No, Mewtwo was doing his up smash. And he hit with a fair? Yeah. No, that was, I don't think that was a fair. I think that was a forward tilt. Alright. And I guess the leg got caught in it and it... Yeah, died. the leg... It, like, <gasps> oh, 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 oh. Okay, AJ recovered. <laughs> yeah, that was a uh, bad team attack, though. Yeah. Uh, it's four stocks to three right now, but if Mewtwo can continue to stock to live. Uh, Mewtwo at 156 is really crazy, especially on Town & City while Diddy's there. That was a great jab. Yeah, it gave uh, Churro a good chance. Ooh, good bucket, Phil. <laughs> he up smashed, and then he saw the Shadow Ball coming. So, so he, he just put up the bucket, yeah. Yeah, so he didn't get hit by it. Wow, Churro is still living 160 Mewtwo. Okay. There it is. Come here is first. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> And there goes Sheep. Doc. Oh! oh yeah, I missed fire. Oh, the bucket catches Churro. <laughs> and Bro Bear's by himself, but this is a character of stupidity right now. Not one nine hammer can change this game really quickly. Yeah, or a banana in the bucket. That can't happen. I don't know Wait. why I said that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say, Vanessa does not work with Bucket of Bucket. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> the bucket's useless at this point. And there's Bouncing the game. fish for the stock. Cosmic Team's game, game one because of an unfortunate bucket misfire. Yeah, it was unfortunate. So, um, Especially after Tro did such a good je job of living. <laughs> so, um, looking at how that went, do you think they're going to stay... You two game and watch against Sheik and Diddy? I think they are. I feel like Except they, they aren't, so I'm uh, wrong. I feel like they should go ZSS a little bit. Uh, yeah, or ZSS one of true as many characters he plays. Yeah. Villager, um, Mario. Falco. Yep, those are all potentials. Oh, okay, Bro Bear's been doing. playing Wendy Ew. sometimes. Ew, I don't like... Bro Bear, don't play Wendy, gross. <laughs> He isn't. He's already at. Oh, he's go he's fighting you, man. I'm glad you said that because. Oh man. Oh, Dang it. I want to see Wendy. I don't like Wendy. Bro Bears. Well, I mean, I just want to see the Bowser Jr. I, you can play Bowser character. Jr. Just don't play Wendy. <laughs> I hate Wendy. <laughs> Wendy is probably the prettiest Koopaling. <laughs> she's the only female one. <laughs> so what? Guys can be pretty too. You're not wrong. <laughs> yeah. 
Alright. So it looks like it's Ganon Sh Hyrule versus Odd. Versus what? <laughs> Hyrule versus Odd. <laughs> you mean like the the shipment? Sure. Little Mac and Samus. Sure. Be just because of that one scene where Samus puts her hand on Little Mac's head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we're going to Battlefield. I'm happy G-Man's going Ganondorf for this. Yeah. Ganondorf versus Little Mac is funny. I think Ganon wins that though. Very good upbeat catch on Shiro's part. I think when Custom's on, I can see Ganon. I think, I think that Little Mac excels way better in doubles than he does in singles with a good partner with him. Yeah. Good job avoiding everything right there on Shiro's part. <laughs> Not getting hit by anything. Yeah, Shiro's um, really showing his ability to live. Honestly. And I thought Jax was almost SD there, but then I realized it's Sheik. Yeah. Oh, oh, Sheik lives forever. Oh, he went wow. for the KO punch. Wow. Did and you missed. see just the part where he up smashed G-Man out of his drop I kick? missed that, actually. Okay, that was insane, though. Well, super armor. <laughs> no, but he didn't even get hit. He just, like, picked him out of it. No damage. No super armor necessary. All right. All right. Um... I keep seeing Truro try to land with a counter. This game looks fairly close right now. If he does it too much, it might be bad, but if he gets a good counter off, it could also work out for him. Oh! Got the spike on Sheep! That's something... That poor Ganon! Wow, that's interesting. Uh, Jax is getting a little taste of his own medicine there. Yeah, a little bit. He's a CSS uh, secondary. Yeah. And very good down smash, and that is Ganon's first. Wow, gone. And Bro Bear does a really good job of catching your attempts to get up from the edge. Back here, Churro back on stage. I don't think that was the correct decision there. Alright. Oh, very good down smash, but. Yeah, it was. Uh, very interesting. Bro Bear was so engulfed in his match with Jax, you can see that back kick coming. Yeah. Alright, we got. Oh, the KO punch was online, I was about to say, but no. Gets a good upbeat, and an up smash killing both wow, of them the, for their first stock. The Sheik double kill. That I, was that's not exciting. normal, usually. You don't see Sheik killing like that, usually. Uh, yeah, a, you don't see Sheik getting a double kill. Although, that's, that is one of the reasons Battlefield is a really good stage for Sheik, because she sweet spots are up smash. Ooh, great upbeat! Killing Sheik at like 70%. Yeah, and that was really well, well done. They are now up. Three to four stocks. Bro is just picking up Jax's stocks. But you just gotta remember if she can get good edge rate on Churro right here. Oh, yeah, G Man just got saved there from getting upbeat to death. Oh. Ooh, KO Punch was, is now online. Yeah, between the taser and the dash attack. Oh, and wasted it. And that is a stock. Lil Mac is not coming back. Oh! oh Bro is saving him! But Bro Bear, was it worth the sacrifice? It was worth the sacrifice, and there's stock. Never mind. I think that was really good team management right there. Yeah, even was. if it wasn't, even though, we, and there's Ganon. It's now back to about even. About yeah. Uh, in fact, I would actually say that uh, no, it's bad. It's even. It is even. Pretty much dead even. <laughs> All right. They've broken into uh, very good down throw up beyond Shuro. A lot of up B's here with all these characters except for Sheik. Sheik's up B's coming too. She does it right. Yeah. All right, got the KO punch on the and, and there it happens. It's right. All right. And Jax is dies. Two off stage. Oh, interesting. So game two is going to go to the Super Fudunari Bros. Congrats to them. That was really exciting to see. I would not be surprised if we see a switch off of Gandor for the next match. Yeah. It's kind of not there and shield him. It's like. Uh, Charles just like, oh, free kill. Yeah. Yeah, so. And I don't know what happened to AJ Since Kev Punch off hits you through those shields. So. I don't know what happened to AJ offstage because it was focused here. Yeah, I was so busy it. just being excited with the KO punch. I didn't even. AJ, what happened off stage, by the way? So it was a little bit of a self destruct. Yeah, it was a little bit of a self destruct based on the KO punch uh, aesthetic alterations yeah. to, the, to the timing and view of the screen. Yeah, it kind of sucks. That's unfortunate. That's actually cool, though. In a way, that KO punch took out both enemies in one yeah, punch. Yeah, that is true. Huh? Yeah. Two birds, one stun there, yeah. So, yeah, we're going to definitely see that probably switch off again. Yes. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like seeing G-Man's Ganon, though, so... I probably, we're probably going to see a switch off of it, yep. And he's probably going to go Diddy. There's Diddy. 
The only other possibility would be a Falcon, but I don't see uh, G Man go Falcon and double frame Falcon. Oh, he did? Yeah, and CSS, so. His only characters are just. Diddy and Ganon, interesting. And AJ's characters are chic. ZSS, and he's been starting to pick up Pikachu a little bit. Pikachu? Yeah. Awesome. I, I mean, awesome in the sense that I want to see good Pikachu's. Yeah. <laughs> Scary in the sense that right, we're starting off Pikachu. game three on uh, Smashville. It? Ooh. Oh, wow. Trying to edge yeah, guard, but she can almost got ZSS comes in, comes in for the save right there. Yeah. Alright. Oh wow, Very CSS good. picking a grab right out of Drew's, uh, Drew's. Oh, just grounded! Oh, yeah. That's a really interesting side beat. Oh, that's, that's, that's a custom B, yeah. Oh, that would have been cool. I, yeah. That, that looked, that was, looked planned too. No, yeah, that was a really cool exchange. We're talking about the uh, flip kick and the CSS grab, taser grab. Yeah. Oh wow, Diddy just back here, dude. Yeah, that's... way off the side too. And there goes Diddy, though. Yep. Little Mac only at 47 <laughs> percent. Um, you know, with Mac... tail punch online now. Yeah. When Little Mac's playing uh, good, it's, he's being really defensive. And there goes. Oh wait, he didn't have any percent on him. Yeah, that was a zero percent KO punch, so it doesn't kill. KO punch does kill really low percent, so like even heavy characters die to it at like 20 percent, I think. And bouncing fish, there goes Little Mac stock unless ZSS can come save him. Nope. I think G-Man just told him no. All right, and there goes really Jackson's first stock. Things are looking kind of even. Yeah, at this moment. Again, like, Little Mac in doubles is a lot better because it's harder to focus on edge guarding him by when he has another person with him. Yeah, that comes and backs him up, or as we saw earlier, even saves him when he was properly edge guarded or hit too deep. Oh. KO punch now online again. G Man not wanting to get hit by that again. Yeah, G Man's been suffering a lot of those. And AJ voids it and oh, misses the bouncing fish and almost gets. And there's the down smash punish. Wow. Killing what was Sheik's percent? Oh, and he saved him with the back air. The uh, up B kill. Yeah. Oh! Did he just the forward smash? Things are not looking good for um, the Cosmic King suddenly. Yeah. Of course, um, both of the Super Fenari Bros are really hyper sense now, so it could become even again pretty soon. But Jaxus is taking a lot of damage right now. There goes Trill Stock! Wow, off the top kill on Little Mac. I mean, I guess that's not that surprising against these, all these characters that come off the top, so... Usually... And there goes... Oh! About to say Brobear Stock, but didn't yeah. die. Brobear died properly. He's not gonna get that, though. Back so, from Diddy. as long as they're safe against Little Mac, I think they can do this. They just gotta kill Little Mac, like, right now. Oh, okay, wow. Jax is almost, almost self-destructed again. Ooh, Churro, very close to the edge with that Seems one. Seems to have a little bit of trouble with that when it comes to teams. You don't see it that often in singles. He does self-destruct there every once in a while, but... Oh, wow. So, Sheik's going into needle camping mode. Well, yeah, if you want to win, though, it's yeah. kind of necessary at this point. KO Punch online again. And G-Man, okay, living. And there's AJ Stock, now against a ZSS and a freaking Just anything to hold G-Man in place long enough for that KO Punch is going to end this game. Or if ZSS messes up. All right, and that's going to be KO Punch is offline punch. now. KO Punch goes offline, Did he can regardless do this, of how much just... damage you do to him, after a certain amount of time anyways. Oh, really? Well, yeah, basically after a certain timer has expired, if you hit Little Mac at all, KO Punch goes offline, even if it's very little damage. Alright, so how do you think they're gonna do here? Uh, they just need to play, G-Man needs to play really, really safe, do nothing he can get punished for, and these two just need to trap him. That's how this is gonna go. Yep, so... Everyone's at high percent though, so it's slightly volatile 2v1. Yeah, and oh, there's that's game. it, Bro Bears. Super back here, catching the taking guard. Game three. Wow, that was a really exciting final game, in my opinion. Yep. Um, congratulations to both teams. Um, this is winners' round, so we'll be seeing.